Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Onimusha 2 Samurai's Destiny is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. Now, all of the other P- uh, not PCSX2 games. Oh, well, all of the other Onimusha games have seemingly been pretty... flawless, honestly. The only one that actually had issues was Dawn of Dreams, but even then it was only a menu issue, or title screen issue. It's weird, because the menu, like, in-game in Dawn of Dreams were perfectly fine. It was just the title screen, and when it came up with, like, chapter names, or new stage names, I guess, the splash screens were busted. It's just very strange. But Onimusha 2 also has a working menu. Title screen, whatever you want to call it. Let's just see how the game is. I have a good feeling about it, though, considering all the others have been... In basically perfect. Hey, I can skip the cutscene! Good stuff. Presented by Capcom. Right, any minute now. A new warrior, Jubei Yagyu. Heard about I will admit, I'm not a massive fan of the cover art for this game. Not really. I don't know, it just looks... He desperately raced back to be fair, all of the Onimusha games, aside from Dawn of Dreams, have had fairly lackluster cover art. I'm not really a, you know... I'm not really that bothered when it comes to cover art. But I don't know, just seeing the Onimusha ones, I was like, these are fairly uninspired. But that is the guy from the cover art, so I suppose that's why they went with him. <laughs> Although I will admit, the first thing I noticed was his nose. Because he has a right big one. I can't tell if he's English or not. Oh yeah, I think he is. Maybe? Who did this? Yeah. I thought we were going to scream. That's creepy. Jubei. Ew. Come to me. Jubei. I would rather not, if it's all the same. Can I use direct? No. God damn it. Alright, back to using the bloody D-pad. Tank controls. Oh god. Oh. Okay, good. Good scene. <gasps> no, he has a broken arrow in him. Of course he isn't. <laughs> oh my god, dude looks like a pin cushion. Are you okay? Oh, why do you ask him if he's okay now? With spear in his back. Hey, demons! Is it circle to suck in souls again? Time to die. Hey, how does one block? Bum bum! Ho! Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot they don't die that easy. I'm also trying to use the left analog stick. And I'm really realizing that is a bad idea. Got him! Oh yeah! Oh, shut up. Oh, I have to open the gate. Smart thinking. I was wondering why I wasn't going anywhere. Another cutscene? No, I'm surprised. Now I don't actually know if the games will look anymore, or any decent, any better, god. But I have uh, applied... Oh god. SMAA plus FSR slang shader to basically any game that's 3D. It seems to have pretty decent effects on uh, PS1 games that are upscaled to 720. 
like with that shader applied, the 720p image looks basically as good as the 1080p upscaled image. Which is really good because it means it doesn't have to, I mean I was going to say it doesn't have to work as hard, but to go from 720 to 1080 is not a massive difference. But it still means there's less likely to be a hitch or anything. Go on then. But I tried it out on um, Tenchu Breath of Heaven because that seems to be my like benchmark game when it comes to shaders. I've just tested so many of them and it looks very good, honestly. I think it looks just as good as uh, Scale FX. Or whatever it was called. It was one shader that was a bunch of different things and it smoothed out like stair stepping. It did it pretty decently, too. But I didn't actually know that we had access to as a FSR shaders. On Xbox. But now that I know, it's pretty decent. I also decided what would it look like if I applied it to a 2D game. So I applied it to Chrono Trigger, and my god, it just looked like a smudged mess. So obviously, that kind of thing only really affects... Um, 3D games. Obviously. I mean, it's meant to combat jaggies, whereas if you're playing a SNES game, that game is full of jaggies because it's nothing but pixel art. <laughs> but you don't use uh, anti-aliasing techniques on a pixel art game unless you want to ruin it. Well, no, it mostly just turns it into a smudged mess. I have a separate shader that I'll, I'll use for pixel art stuff. But yeah, I don't actually know if this looks discernibly different than it normally would. Probably not, in all honesty. Oh. Takajo. <laughs> oh, have I got the power to suck up souls now? I remember him from the third game. Well, I guess that's spoilers for the end of this game. Because Nobunaga is still alive in the third game. Oh dear. There it is. Huh? Actually, to be fair, Nobunaga could just be, you know, this game's version of Ganon. You know, where you always defeat him, but he never actually dies. Sort of thing. Okay. I'll try. Actually, no, I won't, because I'll be ending the test. Holy nails! My son. <gasps> it's his mother! Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay. Hey, nice, I'm in control again. There's a chest! I don't care about the cherry orb. All the play instructions. Really? Absorbing? Yeah, I know. I just wondered whatever was in here. I got a herb! Nice. And that'll actually do. Yep. As with all the other Onomusha games, this is perfect. So, Onomusha 2, Samurai's Destiny, is playable. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.